I had three main requirements for this rig. It needs to work great on my shoulder, it needs to quickly transfer to the tripod, and I also need to always be able to access the rear screen. So if you see, I can just tilt this down and I can change settings, review footage. So in shoulder mode, it works great. Eventually I might get a second handle and get the Nucleus and wireless follow focus. But for now, focusing directly on the lens is great. I focus and iris control right here. Now to switch to tripod mode, just loosen this, slide it off, and slide it onto the tripod, and it's ready to go. With the rear screen unobstructed, I can use this as my main monitor when on the tripod, and I can use my small HD for maybe a scope, or maybe I'll keep it zoomed in for critical focus. And in the same mode, it works great for handheld. I can rotate the monitor up, and since I have weight very far forward and very far back, it's very stable. I'm going to go back into shoulder mode, just slide this on here, and I'm ready to go. On the back, I have this 190 watt hour battery attached to this small rig V mount plate, and this V mount plate is screwed to the small rig dovetail. This dovetail is supposed to face the other way, but I wanted the mounting points on the back so I could do this. I just have a small rig half cage. On the half cage I have a small rig T5 clamp, one handle facing backwards, and a NATO handle facing forwards. Now this one's important because it has a vertical hot shoe mount on the front that I then can attach the small HD focus mounting arm to. Reverse this mounting mechanism right here so it's facing this way and then attach it like this. I just loosened this screw, took out this thumb screw, and flipped this little plastic insert the other way. Then I could mount the small HD on the other side of the mounting arm. And this works perfectly for getting it in line with my eyes. Now on this front arm right here, I took out the safety screw that keeps the arm from sliding all the way out. Because it's normally facing this way, the safety screw rides in this little groove right here. And, uh, but just put the handle too far to the right for me. So with this flip this way, it puts the handle closer to the center of the rig, makes it easier to hold with one arm. This lens I have on here is the Voigtlander 17.5 millimeter. Gives me about a 35 mil equivalent. It's really handy because it has a declicked aperture ring and I can use that for on the fly exposure adjustments where I'm doing documentary type stuff. This microphone is the Shure VP83F. To get me high enough levels to the camera, I put the cable and the headphone out and turn up the headphone volume, so I'm doing some boosting in the microphone to get the levels high enough for this camera since it likes some really hot levels. All right, that's it. I'm gonna leave a list of all the parts I used in the description, and if you have any more questions, just shoot me a DM on Instagram at Isaac Protova. And I'm gonna leave you with some footage I've gotten with this rig.